Pyongyang calls himself a nationalist. Lee Jiang has more on this. I have very good information. I have very good information. Late this afternoon, President Trump insisted he has proof to back up the controversial claims he has made about the caravan of migrants heading to the southern border. And in that caravan, you have some very bad people. You're going to find MS-13, you're going to find Middle Eastern, you're going to find everything. But when pressed for credible evidence... There's no proof of anything. There's no proof of anything. Uh, but they could very well be. Vice President Mike Pence said the president of Honduras told him the caravan was financed at least in part by Venezuelan leftists, which drew this unsubstantiated allegation from the president. And the Democrats, maybe? And the Democrats? Well, uh, we're going to find out about that. Mr. Trump also defended his promise of a second round of tax cuts. Yesterday, he said Congress would vote on a new package in mid-November. We'll do the vote after the election. A few hours later, he moved up the deadline. It's going to be put in next week. And today said this. And we're putting in a resolution uh, probably this week. I think you folks know about it. Congressman Kevin Brady, chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, said in a statement they will work with the White House over the coming weeks to develop an additional 10% tax cut. President Trump was also asked to clarify this comment from last night's campaign oh, rally yes. in Texas. I like you know what I am? I'm a nationalist, okay? I'm a nationalist. Critics called it a rallying cry for white nationalists. I've never even heard that. I cannot imagine that. But I'm somebody that loves our country. Uh, so, Weijia, all the topics that the president uh, spoke about today are, are key talking points as well during his campaign rallies. There have been a lot of them. What, what else is he doing now? Uh, it is just 14 days now before Election Day. Well, the Trump campaign announced today it will spend a total of more than $20 million on the midterms. And you can expect to see new national TV and digital ads beginning on Monday. The president will also hold at least 10 more of those rallies with three on his schedule so far this week. Jeff? Okay, Weecha, thanks. Again, two weeks until.